Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Today I'm going to show you two methods with included plugins that will allow you to get some movement on those hi-hats. So let's just jump into it. So today's video is going to be pretty quick. I just want to show you, I've been playing around with a new synthesizer called Aparillo, and this method will work better for synth style stuff. Uh, a lot of times you don't have the panning you would with acoustic drums where everything's wide. So I made all of the drums and all of the sounds with this Aparillo synth. I just uh, got it recently. I wanted to try it out. So I'll show you what we're working with. This is the uh, musical section. And here's the hi-hat soloed. And you can see there's some movement on that hi-hat because with the uh, drums and synth, you know, everything runs straight down the center. You could pan it a little bit for the kick and the snare, but it's really just a kick, snare, and hat for the beat. Uh, and so giving the hi-hat some movement both in the stereo space and also clamping it down helps. And there's two plugins that we can do to do this. And in order to see these plugins, I'm just going to hit the E here on the hi-hat channel. And I'll show you what they are. The first one is auto pan and the second one is step filter. So if we uh, run it back to our uh, section with busy hi-hats and we loop it and I'll just and we solo the hi-hat. Uh, these two are auto pan and step filter, so I'll bypass them and we'll listen to the hi-hat pattern. Okay, that's fine, but you know, the hi-hat, it rings out a little bit too long. You'd like to tamp that down a bit, and it's all straight down the center, so it would be nice to pan it a bit. So auto pan gives you the ability to do that. Let's take a listen to that. We'll open it up, unbypass it. So I have a non-synced uh, about 1.2 hertz of a basically a sine wave almost so we'll hear what it sounds like and I'll bypass it so it's basically running left to right in your ears and you can also hit the sync button and sync it to like a half note and you'll hear And you can adjust the width and the smoothness of the transitions. I just have it at uh, default, I think 75-0. And I'll go back to my 1.2 hertz, because I like that sound. Uh, and so that just gives you some movement with your hi-hats from left to right. So that's the first tip, use auto pan. And of course, there's other, uh, other configurations you can use. And we can listen to what those sound like. And you can draw on your own. Uh, but I'll go back to the regular sine wave because I just like it going from left to right on this particular composition. And that's all well and good, but you know, the hi-hat sounds are a little too long. And this is just like a synth hi-hat if I show you the uh, the instrument. It's the velocity hi-hat and I just have them in and I've adjusted the envelope filters a little bit, like lowered the decay, but it's still a little too long. So one thing you can use to tamp down uh, the decay levels, but also do it dynamically, is a plugin called Step Filter. So let's open that and I'll unbypass it, you'll hear it. So with step filter, you get to adjust your cutoff levels. So it's basically like you're twisting a cutoff knob, but it's different for every 16th note or uh, for every eighth note. So I have a 16 step eighth note, so it goes over two bars and every knob gets turned. It's like turning it all the way down, up here, up here, but that you have a bass cutoff, so we can show you what the bass cutoff is uh, like. Okay. 
And I was obviously using a high pass filter, so just filtering out the base of that hi hat, uh, the low end. And then I brought down the output a little bit also so that uh, I just lowered the volume of the hi hat in the mix. And so I can run through this section and un bypass these, and you'll hear what it sounds like totally in context. We'll unsolo this as well. That's auto pan going left to right. And then here's step filter adjusting the cutoff in real time of the hi-hat. So those are two plugins that I use that are included with Cubase to give my hi-hats some movement. You could also use it on anything with a short decay time, but I particularly like it on hi-hats, especially on synth type compositions, because the hi-hat often gives a lot of flavor to the composition. So this has just been a short tutorial and I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.